Hello everyone, how's everything? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. This is the first time to watching my channel. I hope you can subscribe so that you get every new video I uploaded. You can watch it, okay? Thank you so much. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about something for grade 9, the company H curriculum, something called the perpendicular, perpendicular lines. Okay, what's the meaning of the perpendicular lines? Let me give you an idea about this one we studied before. If you have two lines, and they are perpendicular, meaning they are making right angle. Okay, meaning this angle, that will be what? Will be 90 degree. This is the meaning of the perpendicular line. Like the line is the diagram is are perpendicular for each other, meaning the angles between them is a right angle and 90 degree. To do, uh, last time uh, before this video, we'll if you have two parallel lines, you have two parallel line what it will be happening if they are two parallel line for example let's see the first line is the first one have the equation for example let's see 3x plus 5 okay if they are parallel line meaning the gradient or the gradient it will be same yeah yani meaning the gradient it will be same yeah yani so that it will be here why equal it will be same exactly the gradient 3x and they are going to check the point of the a C is here Y A Y intercept. Now this one one was the two line was parallel. What about if the two lines they are perpendicular? What you can discover out or can notice about the perpendicular? If you have two line, if you have two line and the two line uh, they are perpendicular, okay. So that here, be sure. Yeah, you know, for example, you have one line the first equation. Let's see 2x plus 3. Okay. And the second equation for the second line, let's see here minus 1 out of 2x plus a 4. This is the line number 1 and the line number 2. Okay. What is the gradient for the first line? It will be here the gradient for the first one. Let's see m1. The gradient equals here what? 2. What is the gradient here for second line? It will be minus 1 out of 2. Can you multiply together m1 times m2? What it will be? If we are going to multiply together 2 times 1 minus 1 out of 2, what it will be the answer? It will be minus 1. So that, if these two lines, and you are going to multiply the two gradient together, the result of the multiplication will be minus one, meaning the R, the R perpendicular. Okay. So that when I can say the two lines they are perpendicular, when you are going to multiply the gradient for the first line by the gradient by second line, and it will give you minus a minus one. Let's have an example for that, so that everything it will be clear with you. The first example saying here, if you have here, uh, we'll find the equation of the line that perpendicular. We need to find the equation of the line that perpendicular, okay, to 2x plus y equals 3, okay, and the passing through, passing through this point, 4 and 6, okay, we need to find the equation of the line that is perpendicular. One line is perpendicular for this line. Okay. And we have one equation for the first line. Hello, 2x. 2x plus y. Okay. And passing through equals 3 buttons through 4 and 6. We need to find the equation. Let me see for this line. We need to find the equation for this line. And he said there in the headline of the question, they are perpendicular. The first thing, take your the equation, the are they are given to you. 2x plus y equal 3. Try to arrange this one. Try to make y only in one side. So that here, I'm going to shift the 2 for other side. Yeah, and ly equals uh, 3 minus 2x. I can arrange the term is only. It will be here y equals a minus 2x plus a plus 3. So that's this equation in another way. Okay, so that will be easier for you. That's good. 
what you are going to after ask yourself what is the gradient here the gradient will be the coefficient or the number in front of the x okay and don't forget to take the number with the sign so that's the gradient here m equals a minus or m1 equals minus 2 we need to find the gradient for the second line what he said in the beginning he said they are perpendicular so that ask yourself okay yeah, and we said m1 times m2 because the r prediction should be equal to a minus 1 that's good okay ask yourself here as we said here m1 equals a minus 2 we need to multiply m1 times m2 should to equal the minus a 1 and you have m1 a minus 2 okay so that what is the other number which number here i put in here in this gap or this space to give you minus one okay here minus two okay so that you here should to be here to to cancel in the denominator to cancel two with two and put here a one if you are going to multiply minus two you are going to get the reciprocal of minus two one out of two okay if this one negative the other one to be positive if one gradient it will be negative the one to the other one to be positive and the opposite it's a correct okay so it's minus two times one out of two it will be minus one so that m2 second gradient for the second line it will be minus a one we can raise the equation now y equals mx plus what plus c and he said this line is passing through the point what four and six yeah meaning four and six meaning here x equals four and y equals a and y equals six after that you are going to substitute in this equation to find the c the y intercept okay and we have already the m what is m here one over two you have the y equals six and one over two times what times x what is the x four plus what plus c okay so that here you are going to multiply c six equals 1 out of 2 times 4, we are going to divide 4 by 2. 4 divided by 2, what it will be? 2 plus a c. Get the c, shifting the 2. If a c equals a, c equals 4. So that's what your equation right now. Already found the gradient for second line, m2 equals a 1 out of 2. We already find the c, y intercept equals a 4. So that y, instead of this one, put the m and put the c okay so that you have here the equation equals one out of two x plus mean plus four and this is the equation and we know already both of the lines are perpendicular i hope this one is clear with you thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe have a nice day everyone